take this opportunity to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are. My name is Reverend Jackson Charlo, Jesus from Jesus Recreation Church, Water Town, Makweni Count. Uh, I want to bring the word of God to you this moment, and I want to talk to you about the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. That is the message that the Lord has deposited into my spirit this uh, evening. And wherever you are, I want you to join up with me. And the Lord is going to speak to you. This season of Easter festive, I strongly believe that at such a time like this, we can plead upon God for the blood of the Lamb of God. Because it is in a such a time like this, that Jesus, Son of God, was crucified on the cross and the abundance, the multitude, the plenty of blood was shed from the cross for redemption of sin and for sanctification. And therefore, I want you to believe God with me that as we share the word of God, we are going to have a time of prayer and uh, the Lord is going to shower his blessing upon us and, our, and upon our nation. I want to read in the book of Matthew. Uh, before we go to Matthew, I want to read chap uh, Luke chapter 23 from verse 40 up to 40, 43. Uh, the Bible says, then, once, then one of the criminals who were armed blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other, but the other answered, answering, rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation, and we indeed justly for we are receiving our due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Verse 42. Then said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come 43, into your 43, sorry. 43. Let's repeat 42. 42, the Bible says, Then he said, to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. For three, and Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Let's pray. Father, bless your word and bless your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to talk about the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the day that Jesus was crucified, he was crucified with two thieves, two thugs, robbers who had committed some robbery in the community. And they were arrested and crucified together with Jesus. And while they were on the cross, three of them, Jesus in the middle, the Bible tells me that that very moment, people were mocking and blaspheming Jesus. And the soldiers were embarrassing Jesus Christ. And that very moment, one of the thieves, the, the robber said to Jesus, if you are the Christ, save yourself and save us too. But the other robber was so much condemned in the spirit, in his heart. And he said, he rebuked the other one and he said, how can you dare utter such a wicked words against Jesus? We are crucified because we have committed iniquity. But this man... He's a holy man. This man, Christ, is a good man. He has done nothing wrong. But we have done wrong and we are receiving our reward. According to our deeds. 
And this robber genuinely, he repented his sin. And he said to Jesus, while the blood was flowing from the head of Christ, this robber said to Jesus, when you come to your kingdom, remember me. And the Bible says, Jesus told him, assuredly I say unto you, today you will be with me in the kingdom. What am I saying? I I'm talking about the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. This moment, when, when these discussions were going on, the blood of the love of God was flowing everywhere because of, 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 of the bitterness. He was so much beaten, so much bruised, so much wounded. The blood was flowing from the head. And right in that moment, this young man, this beautiful man, he understood the principle and the secret of the blood of Jesus. He understood and he got the divine revelation concerning the blood of the Son of God. And he said to Jesus, please, when you get into your kingdom, remember me. And Jesus said, assuredly, I say unto you, today you will be with me in the kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Brethren, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus was able to save the first day. The first day on the cross, the blood of Jesus began to manifest, began to save, began to do exploits. This time of Easter, I want to stir up your spirit. I want to stir up your faith. I want to let you know that at a time like this, the blood of the Son of God was shed for deliverance, for healing, for miracles, for, for people's needs. And the Bible says that that robber, the very day he was saved, even though he had lived for wicked life for so long, but he got saved. He got the redemption. The last day, the eleventh hour, when they were together with Jesus on the cross, I want to tell you that the blood of the Lamb of God that saved that young man, that changed the life of that wicked person, it is the same blood up to date. It is as fresh as it was those day, that day. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says, uh, when we read in the book of Hebrew, chapter 12, verse 24, that, and when Jesus had, Hebrew, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24, to Jesus, the mediator, of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling, of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Habel. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. The blood of Jesus, it is so powerful than the blood of Habel. Amen. The Bible says the blood of Jesus, the mediator, the blood of our Savior, speaks better things than the blood of Habel. It speaks better things than the blood of Habel. The blood of Habel speaks about revenge, but the blood of Jesus speaks about redemption, speaks about forgiveness. Amen. Somebody say amen to the amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you that there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. The blood of Jesus, Son of God, knows no impossibility, knows no stumbling blocks. Trust that blood. Amen. It is better than the blood of cows and goats and frogs. Mm. It is a better blood. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was sacrificed once and for all. The blood of Jesus was to cater for sins of all generations. 
I want you to know that this blood is available for your life. It's available for your family. It is available for your life. It is available for your children. Mm -hmm. This blood is fresh for your life. Sure. Fear not, thou says the Lord. Okay. 365 days. The Bible says, fear not. Therefore, trust in the blood. Have faith in the blood mm -hmm. of the Son of God. And even if demons and devils comes like a flood, even if sicknesses and diseases comes against you like a flood, the blood of Jesus is enough to tackle every disease against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I am here to condemn every disease by the name of the Lord, by the precious blood of the Son of God. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. receive your healing, yes. receive your recovering. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 27, in the book of Matthew chapter 27 from verse 51 the Bible says that then beyond the veil of the temple was torn into two from top to from top to bottom and the earth quaked and the rocks were split and the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised verse 53 and coming out of the graves after his resurrection they went into the holy city and appeared to many Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That very season, the Bible says in that duration of crucifixion and resurrection, within three days, great miracles were witnessed. Extraordinary records were reported things were recorded the bible says that time when jesus was buried the bible says he went and took the keys from the devil and the third day the day of resurrection the bible tells me that there was an earthquake and the bible says the rocks splitted and the curtains of the holy place separated from top to the bottom and the bible says the graves opened up and the saints that were buried many years ago, they came out together with Christ when he was resurrecting. And they were seen in the streets of Jerusalem, walking, praise the name of the living God. Amen. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I come to you to talk about the same Jesus, the same blood that was shed on God God for our lives, for your life, for your family, and for your people. The Bible says through the crucifixion and the resurrection, when he was coming out, even the dead people were resurrected. The blood of Jesus Christ was able to resurrect even the dead people. Praise the name of the living God. Yeah. This blood can do so many things that are gone. This blood of the Son of God on the spot in the, on the cross was able to save a robber. And after few, few hours, it was able to arrest hell and principalities. 
and the hell stood still. No business continued in hell. The Bible tells me when Jesus arrived in hell, everything stopped. Everything stood still. Demons and devils began to tremble. And as the loose power was trembling, Jesus said, come on, bring over the keys. And Jesus took the keys and he took the authority. He took everything. And the Bible says the following day, he came out of the grave with so many believers. I declare and decree the year 2020, we are coming out victoriously Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, I am here to declare and decree after these days of Coradina, we are coming out powerfully we are coming out full of power we are coming out full of anointing we are coming out full of revelations we are coming out full of grace we are coming out full of power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. and we are to tell you that the son of God shed his blood for your life soak yourself into that blood daily soak your family into that blood daily soak your life with the blood of the Lamb of God mm. it is it is it is abundance it is plenty it cannot be finished mm. praise the name of the living God Amen. the Bible says in the book of Psalms 51 verse 7 purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me. And I shall be white. Whiter than snow. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. This should be your cry. Mm. This should be your prayer. This should be your pleadings. This should be your petition. You should cry to God. And you say, purge me with high soap. And I shall be clean. Wash me. And I will be as clean, as white as, as snow. Amen. Everybody. Everybody this time. It is the time to soak ourselves into the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. And we tell him, soak us. Wash us, Lord. Make, wash us and we will be clean. Soak us into the blood and we will be soaked. Mm. Soak us and we will be white as snow. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 29. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Beyond the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world cometh. Praise the Lord. Amen. John the Baptist was baptizing and doing the work of the ministry. And all of a sudden, he saw Jesus coming. And when he saw him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of men comes. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus is the Lamb of God. It's the Lamb that by the blood of this Lamb, it takes away sins. It takes away sickness. The blood of this Lamb takes away incurable diseases, takes away every every pandemics. Mm. This blood is a pure and fresh blood for your life. Amen. You need to trust God. Mm. You need to believe God for this blood. Mm. Oh, shaka bagala la 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 buzanta. I will soak myself into the blood of the Lamb of God. I will soak myself into the blood of the Lamb of God. John chapter 19 verse 30. The Bible says. So when Jesus had received the soul wine. He said it is finished. And bowing his head. He gave up his spirit. Listen to me. The last word of Jesus before death he said it is finished 
the last word, the last message that Jesus spoke. He said on Golgotha, on Calvary, it is finished. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Before he gave up his spirit, he said, it is finished. I am here to say and to repeat the same words in your life. It is finished. Mm -hmm. It is finished mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That sickness is finished. That pain is finished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. That kind of stranglings in your life. It is finished. Jesus said on the cross, it is over. It is finished in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I come in your life to bring the word, to repeat the words of Jesus. That it is finished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Coronavirus, I declare you are finished in the mighty yes. name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Cancer, you are finished. Mm -hmm. Locusts in Kenya, locusts in Africa, you are finished mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, I want to pray with you in the mighty name of the living God. And I believe by the anointing of God, every yoke will be broken, every chain will be destroyed, every power will be dismantled, every authority will be crippled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Touch wherever you are suffering. Those who are sick at home, touch where you are suffering. Those who have been going through hell, those who have been have been going through through troubles, persecutions, demonization, demonic torture. I come to rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, touch where you are suffering. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, I declare and decree it is finished. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every devil. I bind every demon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree God's peace over God's people. I soak everybody into the precious blood of the Lamb of God. I declare today you are saved. It is well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family. I cover your family members. I cover your wife. I cover your husband. I cover your children. I cover your parents. I cover your relatives and 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 neighbors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover your county. I cover your nation. I cover your continent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree you are a receiver of God's blessing in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. We do pray and believe. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Team up with us. Join us in our Facebook and uh, YouTube and uh, in all the media platforms from Jesus Recreation Church. May God bless you. Shalom. Enjoy your Easter. In Jesus' mighty name, you shall not die, but you shall be. Amen.